Definitely. I think uh, one of the major things that it has done, uh, social change is absolutely necessary to be able to do startups. Mm -hmm. So when I'm talking to people overseas, I'm always explaining to them that why India may be slightly late to the party. Mm -hmm. Because even the social system, like as people graduate from colleges and then they want to get a good job, it has to be a brand new job. They can't even get married into a right sort of, uh, you know, family unless they have all those right tick boxes. That always has been the, um, the, the prerequisite to be known as uh, a successful person in the society. So with the government and uh, social change in startups, talking about startups, Modi also talking about startups, it just brings it to a point where it becomes socially acceptable that you are going to burn three years of your life on something you truly believe in. There's no guarantees, you will fail, but it's accepted by the society. Hence, it gives everybody the encouragement that why not? You know, if you, if you want to go do this, why not? So that is the, the I guess, the most important uh, support that these uh, type of organizations can give to young people is that they can think about doing it without social consequences. And the rest is really, you know, up to the gods and <laughs> the market. So growth of startup world in general, I think if we look at the uh, numbers, uh, it is growing pretty fast already. Uh, Silicon Valley is fueled by investment which is uh, available more readily and also it's available at much more relaxed or much more uh, even terms mm -hmm. so this is the biggest issue in india is that you have a, a standard interest rates of nine percent let's say on a fixed deposit uh, property has been always the value investment so when a startup is going to an investor, investor is already talking about I'm getting 10% return without even thinking about it. Okay, you are giving me X number of multiple, uh, well, from my uh, low risk uh, returns, it doesn't sound that fancy. So that kind of sentiment will only change as we start to free up that capital flow and people sort of start to look at the startup as um, a, an industry or as uh, an opportunity from investors as well as the young people that sits outside of the norm value investment and all of the portfolios that people have so that needs to change uh, then we do need to free up some of the regulatory framework uh, in terms of some of the restrictions we have for uh, FDI into various sectors and um, other than that, I think uh, it's also no point trying to artificially accelerate it. Because if you artificially accelerate it, all you're doing is you are probably uh, putting more pressure onto the ecosystem that we have. And also you will have uh, people coming out of, uh, even they haven't finished their undergrad, mm -hmm. and we are forcing startup down their throat. So what is going to happen is that you're going to have a lot many failures in the market, a lot of uh, money from the investors got burned, investors will pull back and start to reevaluate. And we've seen that in the last six months. We are focused on IoT and FinTech right now and every intake we look at what is the horizon looking like and um, what should be the sectors that we go after. But as an accelerator we don't have a uh, restricted uh, a charter to sort of only go after a certain uh, certain sector. So right now, like we're looking at FinTech and IoT. FinTech, India is very, very difficult to get good FinTech startups here. And we're trying to also look at how we can coach these guys from Hong Kong or take them to Hong Kong and um, bring them to the global FinTech uh, a level where they understand blockchain, they understand publishing currencies and all of the crypto stuff. So um, rather than just taking what's there, we are also, I guess, wanting to be proactive in taking the startups to where the world is. So companies we have, uh, uh, I guess from our first batch, we have um, company like Promon, 
who is uh, uh, a, a, I guess a, sh a shift from a pure marketing and uh, discount uh, voucher or deals to how do you how does a vendor use uh, Facebook organically mm -hmm. and promote their products and services through the right um, demographic so if uh, it's more likely that your customers friends mm -hmm. are going to buy the same thing that the the customer is buying so they their attack on that has been very successful uh, they have pivoted a few times their business model based on market and uh, we're quite happy um, they've got their uh, first round of funding and uh, they're on their way to get their series A and so on and so forth. And uh, then we have um, um, startups in uh, education, EduRev, they also from our, I think, second batch and providing access to quality education online. So, um, you know, a student who is going to a government school in the village should be able to access a course material that is being taught in uh, some of the best schools and you know compare the uh, compare or you know take advantage of that online versus his offline um, ability to get that education um, we also have some of our uh, guys who are playing with the IOT side of it um, and we we are more. I think that's one of our other unique feature is that Java does have a full hardware capability as well. We have our own IoT team, so we are able to go through that physical product development process and uh, handhold people through that process as well. And we've got a um, number of other sort of mixed areas, you know, from e-medicine to education to marketplace to IoT. And um, I think this will continue to grow and we, we like the fact that some of these guys are from um, sitting in Ludhiana, some are sitting in, um, you know, um, Calcutta. So because when, from my perspective and, uh, uh, you know, Brett Stevens who runs the Java Accelerator perspective, we, we, we're not brought up into the system so if people try to tell us their uh, big family name or they try to uh, you know give us uh, that influential type of connections and things like that it's all wasted on us and we just sort of look at it uh, whatever but uh, what are you trying to do and hence we have very diverse background so and I think that's where I'm, I'm really proud and happy that the original vision of having a very open platform where anyone without IIT degrees, without any uh, special relationships with the right families or whatever else is able to provide uh, or is able to you know bring the idea to the table and then go through this and build their dreams and I think that's 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 the essence of the whole thing and um, whatever ideas come through it they sound good, then they sound good.